Right, here we are today on the mighty River Trent. Why are we here? Oh, here's a big blackberries look. Look at these lovely blackberries in here. Can you see them? Yeah. Now it's the first day of the River Fest final. This is what we've been all running around the country trying to qualify. And uh, I got a bit of luck at Trent Lock and got through. And, uh, and we've qualified. So this is the first day. It's two days. Obviously today and tomorrow. And it's total weight. Um, we all want to peg 55. And they were all saying that I'm the man for the occasion. So I've gone in the bank. Guess what I've drawn? 83. So if you want to know, 55 is a barbell peg. And uh, it's up there somewhere. And let's hope they don't feed. I can't even draw it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm up in the Nelson Field, uh, sorry, the uh, Ferry Field and the road stretch. So. 83, so I'm stood along my old pal, he says, look at that eh, look at that, smart isn't it? Steward, look at that, you've seen the film Dumb and Dumber haven't you? Well, he's not He's not in it, my mate Gaz, he's come to run bank and he's, uh, he's stewarding as well, so well, come on, what do you think, tell me what you think. I think you're going to catch 15 to 20 pound. Do you what of? Dayson Roach. Right, on and what? you might get... You might even get a bream if you... A bream? You might even get a bream down here. What have you been taking? There's no bream live here. <laughs> There's no bream live here. There will be. There <laughs> is. They live all in the Trent. Right, so, so you'll think we're going to catch some little fish here? Yeah, you're going to get probably 15, 20 pound of uh, roach and dace. Right, what on? On waggler, probably on maggot feeder, dink rig. Right. Uh, you might get a few perch on inside line. Yeah. On chop worm. Right. Okay. But, right. Well, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. My target weight is is fourteen pound. That's I'll, I'll take that and get it out of here. Um, I'm just a bit. I can I put it right? Well, let me explain what I am first of all. This is the rack, bottom of the rack, and uh, you come all the way around that corner. A few weeks I did a blog where I was just round that corner, just round there. And you come round and all the weights were on the corner where Cam Hughes has drawn again. Opposite them trees. Oh, again. He's got his, uh, I think he picked his post up while he were here. But opposite, so this is called, this is the Shallows. And opposite is Shelford. And that there is Ham's Bridge. Where them trees are they? And that hooked. That is Ham's Bridge. And that's a famous place because you can park there and you can walk either side. But all the special lads go that down there. They go further down. It's full of great big bream um, and they catch a few barbel. Um, so that's that's where, you know, where all the big weights are going to come from if pegs were down, but they're not. So 83 is next to MPEG. Mr. Rob Perkin, one of the nicest men in angling, next peg. And he's on the MPEG. And here it's very shallow. This is the shallows. And, but, but it's muddy. You can see the mud there and you want to be a bit further around where it's gravelly well like i said we're cam uses again um and he had 25 pound other, other week on saying peg is drawn today so he'll just fish pole and hemp and maggots and catch everything but this is very shallow here it's three and a half foot deep and a good way out so how am i going to fish it well you've listened to gaz and he's told you what i'm going to catch and gaz is never wrong and so, on my thing here, look, I've got, look at that, I bet you've never seen as many rods set up. I've got my barbel rod, because I've, I've, they don't catch barbel here, but it just looks, that's the old barbel peg, that big tree there. Years and years ago, when we first started catching barbel, that's where they caught them. And uh, it was quite weird, they caught them there in 187 on, up in the Nelson field. But they don't catch them, Rob says now. Nah. He told me they don't catch them, but it just looks perfect for catching barbel. It look, just looks nice, but... Whether anybody fishes for them here, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so what I'm going to do, towards that tower there, just there, two thirds, I'm going to put a load ramp in, just in case I can't catch my little fish. Just in case I need a, a get out of jail place, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some hemp in uh, and leave it. And then what I'm going to do, so I've got my big start right up my 100, with my 5,000 reel. So that's that won't go out unless I'm, I'm in trouble. And I've got a whip, five metre whip, which is just over them weed, which is three and a half foot deep. 
because you never know sometimes they come short on these shallows and if they do you can have like an hour where you, you gain loads and i've got a waggler rod 3a waggler which is three and a half foot deep and that'll just fish I'll, that's where i'm going to fish and then i've got my, my dace rod which is my soulless 11 foot with my new marvelous reel and I've got my 5,000 miles on my all-round rod, which, which uh, I have if I'm going to maggot fish for everything. So you can see I'm, I'm covering myself, and I'm covering myself because I don't know what the hell is going to happen. For example, I'm expecting to get a bite of chuck on a waggler catching dace and, and little fish, but if I don't, I need something else, somewhere else to go. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can see I've got maggots, I've got some squeeze ready pellets, I've got my hemp, and I've got my my casters straightforward i've not even mixed any ground because i don't think there's any bream live here whatsoever um so that's my target so my tech my head is saying right get, try and catch double figures 14 pound and then hope to drop bream peg tomorrow on the middle of the road or near pylons that's that's my thought and try and get it try and just fish waggler catch as many as i can but if they're not here at waggler i'll tell you now i will be really really in trouble um but it's what it is isn't it so so yeah so basically there you go that's straightforward and uh and i've set up plenty of rods i'm covering myself really but i think if if i'm going to fish a waggler all day i'm fishing for little days odd roach and just try and catch a stone and see what happens from there so first day uh, river fest it's one of the main matches now at river fest there's 82 fantastic fishermen here sorry there's 84 84 in the um fantastic fishermen and uh, and th apparently this and i think it's probably right it's the best lineup there's ever been um so let's see if we can get a stun and get out of here and then see what happens tomorrow let you know how we get on uh, that's day one over and um, and we've not had a great day i've had a lot of fish, 150 fish i don't know what i've got eight pound the tiny uh, just caught in a wagon and just kept going and after two hours I thought I'm going to get you no know, boiling on my maggots I waggler just see you like just see and then they're just gone and I couldn't catch them and I've had a couple of pike on whether that's had out to do it I don't know but uh, it's a shame because I'd have kept catching I'd have finished up with my stone uh, you know with my 14 15 pound so I don't know I just I just lost them whether they were them pike or not through it and just come catch. I've had 150 fish, so I've had some bites. A bit annoyed myself. I think last hour I should have fished for a barbel, but if I don't get one, I've I've lost two pounds. If that makes sense. So, and they tell me there's nobody got like mega weight, so you know I could, could catch 30 pound tomorrow and still win it. So I don't want me thinking. And so I just fish maggot and waggler and a little maggot feeder. <sighs> so. No, I'm a bit disappointed with it. I think uh, Robert M. Pegg, he's, had, he's been catching little fish all day. He'll have about 170 fish, I think. So uh, he'll have probably £15. So, and they've caught right corner. Cameron's got £20, apparently. And, and I think uh, Adrian Whittle, right corner again, £20. Just more roach up there. Just too shallow here. I mean, literally, it's a yard deep. But when I was catching after two hours, I thought, oh, right. I think I'd 80 fish. And I thought, I was thinking, these keep coming, I'll catch 200 fish. And they just went, last hour and a half, I've caught nothing. But anyway, that's how it goes, we'll see what happens. And uh, a bit disappointed, but I don't know. It, it, it's, you know, I feel like, because it's a weight match, maybe I should have fished a barbel. You don't catch one and you're completely out of it. Do I catch with 10 pound? But I don't think I've caught with 10 pound, that's trouble. And the target were like 14. So, see so the way, 150 fish, 15 to pound, that's 10 pounds, so I think I might have that, we'll see. Well, that's end of day one. Uh, I've had 150 fish for um, 11 pound two, which was crap. Um, but, and I need a 14 pound from that peg, and I'm just, I was just a bit short, but whether I fish it right now, I, couldn't, I can't, just couldn't catch out the last two hours. Um, maybe I should have fished for a big fish. I'm not quite sure, but they don't catch them there. So uh, my thoughts were, because it's day one, just keep putting some fish in net, and uh, and hopefully I get a you know a better peg tomorrow where I can fish for a, a, some bigger fish. Um, it was th I think it's finished thirty first there out of eighty two, eighty four. So um, 
And like I said, if it had £15, I'd have been 15th or 16th, I'd have still had a chance of perhaps not getting in because Barbell pays when it was £35 and somebody will be on that tomorrow and, and they'll get it, you know, they'll get a weight. And so I'm going to need to be up near Weir or up Bend, I think, and, and fish for big fish tomorrow. I don't particularly want to be out road unless I'm up Breen Peg. Uh, and they're not feeding anyway, so <laughs> it's one of them jobs. I could fish for days and get a light. Because I ain't caught £15, it makes you f you need a big weight now. So I've got to approach the match difference. So I just hope I draw a peg where I can get a few pulls. So we'll see. See what happens. The crack is a full day to go tomorrow. I can still win it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. It's just <clears throat> I'm a bit annoyed really today because after two hours I had 80 fish and I'm thinking... Uh, but I'd caught nothing for half an hour, so I caught them in like 90 minutes. And I was getting one a minute, and I'm thinking, if, if I can catch 300 of these, I'll get my weight. And they just went. I don't know what happened. Uh, I know I had a couple of pie cons, so whether that, that affected it, but I just couldn't get any bites. And uh, So anyway, it's what it is. I mean, I've had 150 fish, so... But I know the small fish there, and I knew I needed like two, 250 of them. Um, well, but I didn't anyway, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. But... Um, uh, I think thirty five pull uh, won it off Barbel Peg Cam uh, on his uh, on his house peg where he lives had twenty six pounds. He's <laughs> just you can't. He's just awesome at it. He's always in that little air. Everybody else catches twenty five pound a roach a day. It's fair play to him. It's just awesome. Well, that's Cam Hughes. He's just awesome at it. Uh, so let's wait and see. But I need a peg tomorrow, so I'll let you know. Uh, but there'll be uh, there'll be. Uh, like I said, I'm a bit disappointed. I feel like I'm three or four pounds short. Uh, but, but I am so. See what I'm sure. I'll let you know what we're going to have tomorrow.